Hi everybody, it's David Oaknob Farm. Just a few weeks ago, I shared a video about the chicken uh, run that I set up behind me, and I promised you a little video about the solar fence charger that I was going to set up. So today we're going to discuss the charger, I'll show you kind of the parts of it, what, how it works, and uh, maybe give you some ideas if you need power remote someplace on your property. Okay, the first component in the system is going to be the charger. Uh, this is just a simple um, ba a battery charger, 20 watt panel, and it has its own built in charge controller on the back inside of this uh, little black box here. Okay, next up is this uh, little, it's a little marine switch panel. I figured that'd be good because it uh, should be relatively waterproof. Uh, these are illuminated switches, uh, so if you have connected this ground, they will light up. But uh, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to waste the battery power keeping these lit. Um, the only thing I'm, I'm di I don't like about them is these are like those aviation switches that when they're turned on, you see that the lid stays open, a little crack. You can push it again to turn it off. It's not really something I want. I, I just want this to be a safety cover basically. So I'm just going to take a pair of snips and cut each one of those little nubs off. Since I have power out there now, I am going to put in this little motion sensor light so that if I ever, for any reason, need to go down to my garden in the middle of the night, I should have a light come on. And maybe if a deer comes in, maybe it'll help spook them off. Probably not, but wishful thinking. And here's what I came up with in the end. My solar panel at the top. My fence charger on the side of the pole. That white box is all the switches. And the black box on the back is the uh, battery. All right, here we have a battery box, and inside we have an AGM-style battery. It's like motorcycle or a tractor-sized battery. Um, I don't, don't forget the exact size. I forget the exact size of it offhand. But anyways, it, uh, this, I put a fuse inside here, and it feeds up into this panel here. And then uh, each of the switches is wired. This one hooks to the solar panel. This one goes to the fence charger. This one goes to the spotlight, and this one is a spare for uh, future. Okay, here you can see the fence is blipping away. And this is what I ended up getting. It's a one joule. Uh, low impedance fence charger. You have two wires coming off of it. One is a positive, one is a ground. Uh, I have a ground stake here. In addition, I ran all the way down to the very corner of the fence. I put another ground stake over there for future fencing off in this direction. And then right behind my wood pile, there's another ground rod right where my finger is. So you try and get at least three, I might even add, add one more, but you spread your ground out so that uh, you, get, you get just the best cut conductivity. So I put this one right here next to the fence, so it should ground this whole area very well. And then here my insulated hot lead comes up and twists into the fence. Okay, well I hope this gives you some ideas how you'd be able to set up a remote fence somewhere on your property if you don't have electricity nearby. If you have any specific questions, please feel free to ask below in the comments. I'll definitely, uh, definitely help you out if you want to set up a system like this yourself. And thanks as always for watching, and please hit that thumbs up.